This is Soila Sayalel. She is the most extraordinary woman. She knows every single elephant in the Ambassadi population. Yeah, I've worked with her for elephants for the last, I think, 30 years. I know each elephant individually. And I'm pretty sure that it's very sad that some of the tasks that are there are some of the elephants that have been studied for that long. Elephants that are known, mothers, fathers, daughters, cousins, all are there. So it's actually sad, but uh, I believe that it is a move. Kenya has really shown the whole world, you know, that uh, they value elephants. And uh, um, I presume that the other countries in Africa where elephants are, are going to follow the same example. Thank you. Paula, do you want to introduce yourself and give some of your feelings about this? So, I'm Paula Kumundu. I'm the CEO of Wildlife Red and we launched the Hands Off Our Elephants campaign almost three years ago with the First Lady as our patron. You know, what I think about this is that everything she promised us, she's done. She promised she would bring it to the attention of her husband. And today Uhuru did what we've been asking and he's taken the leadership position that we have felt Kenya really needed to take to pull Africa out of this crisis. So having Ali Bongo here today, yesterday we were with Museveni. You know, other presidents have also come on board, like Ian Kama. I think it's a, an extraordinary moment for Africa to say we own this problem and we are going to lead Africa out of it. Seeing the Chinese ambassador here, and he read a message from the Chinese president yesterday. It reveals that what's happening here in Kenya is not going unnoticed elsewhere in the world. It's going noticed in the place it matters the most, in China.